The meth series paintings actually began with an idea of doing a light painting. I've been doing a lot of dark paintings for quite a while and discovered while I was searching on the internet one day an image of crystal meth. I wasn't interested in using crystal meth at all. It wasn't about that, it was about the look of crystal meth. It intrigued me and so I started downloading images and looking at them thoroughly and started to index the kind of colors that the seemingly colorless form had and found lots of colors and lots of properties of light. So I tried to mimic some of what I was getting out of the imagery and actually made a light painting. I was curious about the light of crystal meth, but at the same time, I knew exactly what it was socially, that this was a decimating drug. So these works, which I call maybe social abstraction, where the abstraction is actually driven by social concerns, but in a broader way. My painting process is based on two modes, what I consider hard and soft. The soft being the wash state that the painting is in first, which is pretty much the soft end of the painting, smoky, atmospheric. It actually has probably more to do with the emotional state of what the painting really is about. I've always evoked the wash in my earlier paintings, which are highly narrative. What I had done is I'd taken all those concerns of the outside and turned them all into the basketball as a way to represent all those things and challenged myself to reduce my vocabulary in painting. Like, how do I take a basketball and let it dissolve into not only itself in its iconic nature as a basketball and what that represents, but as an element, as an icon, as a shape, as color, as sensation, and then at the same time, let it ebb and flow with the wash so that I put this dichotomy between hard and soft so that the viewer has to negotiate between what is in foreground, what is in the background. You get lost in, in trying to read that. And at the same time, it delivers a color sensation. And that sometime visually that they slip the difference. <laughs> 